I get so excited I forget where I am. <laughs> Woody. Duke Ellington was and continues to be a jazz legend throughout the world. While visiting Pittsburgh, friends informed him of a talented young jazz pianist and composer playing at a nightclub in town that he should see and hear him before leaving. He did, and he was most impressed. The young man was Billy Strayhorn. Duke invited to come to see him, or invited Billy to come to see him in Harlem at his first opportunity in New York. A year later, he did. Before going, he asked, called to ask for instructions as to how to get to Harlem and wrote down the instructions, which simply said, take the A train. A train being subway, of course, that runs up to Harlem. When he finally got to the Cotton Club and met the Duke, he tried to impress him by giving him a composition specially written for him. The Duke was impressed and asked him if there was a title to the piece. Strayhorn did not have one, and while thinking of a title, noted on his piece of paper the directions to get to Harlem, and it said, take the A train. So he said, we'll call it Take the A-Train. Duke hired him, and A-Train became Duke's theme song. And here's Billy Strayhorn's A-Train. I should say that later, Billy Strayhorn uh, collaborated extensively with Duke Ellington. And many of the Ellington songs were actually written by Strayhorn, or else were written by a combination of the two. <coughs> How many of you uh, danced to that song many times? Oh good, there's some older people besides us here. <laughs> that always is heartwarming. In March of 1939, the year I was born, Czechoslovakia falls to the German might. On September 1, Poland is invaded by Germany. This is followed by Hitler invading Denmark, Norway, and the Netherlands. Then on May 12th, the unbelievable happened. Germany invades France on June 14th, marches through the Arc of Triomphe and down the Champs-Élysées. 
Parisians are devastated and watch with tears in their eyes in disbelief. Oscar Hammerstein is also crushed for Paris was his love. He wrote a poem to ease his pain and shared it with his close friend, Jerome Kern. He put the poem to music. It won the 1941 Academy Award from the movie Lady Be Good. Here now is the beautiful The Last Time I Saw Paris. that I had dodged for years. The music of their squeaky horns was heaven to my ears. But the last time I saw Paris, her heart was warm and no matter how they change her, I'll remember her. That 